Right, yes people, how you doing? Darren Bent here for the YouTube channel as always. It's Darren here, by the way, Darren Bent. Hope you guys are well. Today we're here with another video on a Jordan shoe that I'm really excited about. I've managed to get it a couple of days early. Um, I think it's going to be one of the drops of the year. And I've said that a couple of times when we talk about the year of the rabbit, but I also said about the year of the rabbit, um, it's hard to put a shoe in your top five of a year if you can't get hold of it. 5,000 pairs um, is incredibly difficult to kind of locate and get one. This shoe I'm going to show you, I think there's a, a lot more releases, but I think when you look at it in pictures again, it doesn't do it justice. I think you'll see that there's a lot going on with the shoe, and it might be a bit much for some people, but once you get them in your hand, you won't be disappointed. So this is the shoe that I'm talking about. Let's grab the box from down here. Let's get to the uh, little sign there. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG um, UK 10. Air Jordan 1 White Cement. I absolutely love this shoe. I love the cement print. Um, some people call it cement print, some call it, people call it elephant print. Um, but for me, these are one of the best releases for, um, for, for a, not even for a while, because again, I said that about the Year of the Rabbits, the Lost and Founds were, were out. I showed you a video of that, I think maybe last month, a couple of weeks ago. But I absolutely love these. My favorite ever shoe is the, the Air Max 1 Atmos. Um, that's got the elephant print on it. Some people call this elephant. Some people call it the cement. Um, really, really, really nice shoe this. Again, Air Jordan 1, as I've always said, is my favourite. And these will be right up there. I loved the Lost and Founds last year, as I spoke about. There was a Panda Jordan 1s that dropped as well. I like them this year, even though they are Panda. And I can't stand the dunk. I love the, the OG High 85. Um, these are nice. Again, I put these over the True Blues, which are here. I always go back to the True Blues because they were the, the first Jordan 1 release of the year. Um, but I really, really like. Anything with a cement print on it is up there for me. Now we know, of course, I think about, I think it's it's kind of reinvigorated the, the Tinker Hatfield uh, Jordan 3, which had that cement print on it. Um, but, and listen, Jordan 3s back in the day used to be one of my favorites, but Jordan 1 has, has passed that, absolutely passed it. When you look at this as well, some people may think that's a bit too much cement print for me. Not for me, it's not enough. I will have a, a Jordan shoe with all the cement print all over it. Um, Again, you can see the leather. They've got that old kind of old school leather again. Um, certainly on the toe there, soft leather. I think we call it premium leather. Uh, the leather uppers as well, really nice. The rubber on the midsole. Um, I love the rubber, the rubber overlay as well. That's nice. Um, the swoosh in the black, really, really nice detail. But again, it comes with some nice different kind of laces. I'm not quite sure what laces to put in there. As you can quite see now, I've got the black. Um, there's a pair of white. Let me get the white for you. We've got the white laces there, so you can kind of mix it up if you like, but I'm probably going to stick with the black laces. Um, I mean, Jordan 1 at the minute. A lot, I can't believe a lot of people out there are saying, yeah, they think that Jordan 1's potentially dying. I I necessarily don't believe that. I know Jordan 4's are making a big push this year, and they have come with some bigs. The Crafts, Phantom Dos, whatever they're called. I know it's, it's one or two or all three of them words. Um, I would go with still a Jordan 1 uh, over the 4. I know 4s have got some big ones coming as well this year. I've, I've seen some of the um, some of the releases that are set to come out. But again, this shoe here for me is is, is lovely. I think also as well, again, I, I spoke about it in previous videos. I think you can, I think the accessibility of this shoe, which will, be, which will be high, will make it a popular shoe because you can get it, you can access it. You haven't got to be paying retail money for it. Um, I think you will be able to get it. And also as well, look at the color of it. It's a black and a gray shoe which means you can pretty much wear it with anything. Um, so it's it's one of them shoes I think, it might not be for everybody, but I really, really like it. And as I said, when it, anything with a bit of cement, I'm all for it. Now, as I said, this shoe has got a lot of the gray cement, the white cement all over it, um, but I really, really like it. I think the detail in it, the, the craftsmanship to, to go into making this shoe is fantastic. And as I said, if you see pictures of this shoe, Again, I saw pictures of this shoe relatively early, and I was almost like, hmm, do I get this shoe or do I not? And I thought it might be a little bit, even though I love cement print, I was a bit like, hmm. But getting them delivered and taking them out of the box and seeing them, I'm so glad I got them. I might even try and invest in a second pair. So if anyone's got a second pair for retail, make sure you hit me up. If not, then I have to go to one of my other sources. But I will be getting a second pair of these um, for retail. But you guys are going to have to let me know what you think. Um, I will say at the end of videos, let me know what Jordan 1 or what Jordan brand silhouettes that you like i know a lot of people like fours like threes but let me know 
specifically on this one, on this cement print, because I think this will really divide opinion. I think you're going to get some people that are going to say, yeah, I need that. Give me that cement print shoe. Are you going to get some sand? It's a bit too much for me. Uh, really, honestly, really, really well done shoe. When you when you start comparing it, as I've said before, to other releases, let, let me grab one. So you've got the, the high OG 85, like I call them Panda. I don't like calling them Panda. They are, for me, bad boy. And I mean, absolute bad boy. Again, simple, but look at the premium leather. So I'm gonna put that one there. So I'm gonna put it there so you can see it. And we're gonna compare it. I'm gonna grab a true blue, right there, true blue there, which for me is the worst one out of the lot, but I had to get it because Again, Jordan one, put that there, and we can get grab here a lost and found. Now this, of course, <laughs> lost is that. So I was gonna take. I'm laughing because it's funny because this would always take some beating. This was my sneaker of the year last year, so that will take some beating. But when you put hold them up against this, I mean, really nice shoe. Again, nice shoe. Um, these, are, honestly, bad boy. The Panda 85. And the, stop saying Panda because they're not Panda, but the 85 high Jordan ones. I think these are going to be go, go under the radar. I think people are going to get them and then try and get second pairs and third pairs because they're that good. So when you put that, up, you got the I said the lost and founds there, but then you got the cement. Sorry, these these are in the mix. I'm telling you now, these are in the mix. These I'm going to put them back on the shelf because I got I got them because they were the first Jordan one. And when you think of true blue in a Jordan, you think of the silhouette, the Jordan three. The, that's an iconic shoe, one of the best out there. But this one here, as you said, I've not even done them up. So this one didn't really hit. I probably will put them on at some stage, but today's not the day. So because they're not in the running, I'm going to put them back for you now onto the shelf. There you go. Make sure it's right. Back here, by the way. Um, but yeah, bad boy. So, you got, so it's up to you where, where you kind of put them, put where you're ranking them. Bad boy, bad boy, bad boy. I, I think they're in the mix. I, I, I really do. And as I said, I know some people might be a little bit like, mm, no, not for me, not for me. I really like them. I really like them. I think they've spared no expense on the detail on the shoes I spoke about. Um, the grey, obviously, sole, like that. Sim simple, simple little detail, but you know, we're going to speak about it. I genuinely think these are up there, so I love them. So these will be going on my feet. I want to give you guys a review of it on my feet as well. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think. Is it a shoe you're going to be trying to get? Make sure you hit me up on Darren Bent TV. You watch this video, you like this video, you subscribe this video, you hit the notification button. Um, I do put little bits on my TikTok as well, Darren Bent TV, so make sure you're, you're all subscribed on that, liking what the content you've seen on there. Um, and also as well, Twitter and Instagram. I do tend to put little bits on Twitter, more so on Instagram, but listen, follow me. We're trying to grow all together. So let's all follow all my, my, my platforms. Let's all grow together. Let's keep talking sneakers. Let's keep reviewing them. Let me know in the comments under this video what you think about the cement ones. Where does it rank? Is it not even so much where does it rank? How, are you feeling these? Are you feeling the, the 85s? Is it nowhere near the, the Lost and Founds that's released last year? Let me know, man. Let me know and we'll, um, we'll have a discussion about it. But as always, Make sure you enjoy your day. Uh, stay safe, most importantly. Peace.